everybody. Welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every time. doesn't matter what you're betting on. We have you covered. Before we get into the NFL action, I want to invite you to join so you have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So let's go and look at some of these games here and some of the important charts you need to look at. Okay, so the first one here. So you scroll down through it's a full slate of games. I'm gonna take a look at four of them. And Denver and Tennessee is the first one that we want to take a look at. Okay, so let's go back up here. All right, so you can see Denver uh is coming in ice cold up. You can see they won their last game, but they were two and four over their last six. Tennessee is burning hot down. You can see they're coming off of a loss and five and one over their last six. If you look at the odds chart here, 1.67 to 2.18 in favor of Tennessee, which translates to a line of 2.5 points, and you can see the over-under is at 38.5. If you look at the score predictor, we got Tennessee 38 to 14 with confidence in prediction of 71%. That would be well over the line if that would be the case. But if you take a look at the, the, uh, the trends here, you see Denver under the last four games, Tennessee under the last five games, good indication to go with the under. If we look at the power ranks indicator, you can see here that on this chart here that Denver was at 31 and they have dipped considerably since the beginning of last month. And okay, well that chart has been gone now. Let's bring it back up. Okay. Since the beginning of last month, and they are now at plus six, and Tennessee is up at plus twenty-eight. Take a look at the stability factor. How consistent have the teams been with regard to their favorite underdog status? You see both of them are coming in at plus one, so they have been moderately stable. So in the end, I like Tennessee in this one at home, uh, but I think this will be a lower scoring game to go with Tennessee and under the line in this one. And we take a look at the next games, to, and as if like I got a full slate of games, Next one we want to look at is Minnesota and Buffalo. So in this one here, Minnesota comes in burning hot. They have won their last six games. Their only loss was against Philadelphia. And Buffalo is coming off of a loss. They were formed two over their last six. You see the odds are in favor of Buffalo at home, 1.55 to 2.42. And it translates to a line of 3.5 points with an over-under of 43.5. Now, there's a uh, speculation as to whether or not Josh Allen plays for Buffalo, and that will hit very highly on the pick for this game. If you look at the over-under, you can see that uh, Buffalo has been under in their last six, and Minnesota has been under in two and over in four. If you take a look at the score predictor, it's 38-23 in favor of Buffalo with 71% level of confidence. We're going to take a look at the power ranks indicator. Not a surprise, both these teams near the top of the league, Buffalo at plus 30 and Minnesota at plus 29, continuing on an upward trend. If you take a look at the stability factor. Here's the big thing here. Um, uh, Minnesota is at plus 8 in stability factor, and Buffalo is at plus 4. So Minnesota has been very consistent with their favorite underdog stats. Pretty much every game this season has gone according to as planned. Let's take a look at the line. Take a look at the money line. You can see how it opened at 1.23 for Buffalo and now is at 1.59. And that's because of Allen possibly not playing in the game. Um, so what I'm thinking here is if Allen plays, we are going to go with Buffalo and the over. If he does not play, take the Vikings and the under. The next one we want to look at here is... At the Colts and the Raiders, see a huge slate of games. Of course, we have the teams on the bye, but there's a lot of teams that are playing. Cardinals and the Rams. The Cowboys and the Packers. This is the next one we want to look at. The Packers coming in, having lost five in a row. It's an extremely unfamiliar situation for them to be in, but yes, they have lost their last five. They're coming in dead stats while the Cowboys are burning hot. They have won five out of the last six. The odds are in favor of Dallas, 1.48 to 2.612. Translates to a line of 4.5 points with an over-under of 43.5. And you see here it's 57% to 43% in favor of Dallas. The score prediction is a blowout in favor of Dallas, 60 or 60, 41 to 18. Confidence in prediction of 60%. I don't think it's going to be that big of a margin. There's no question that Green Bay is having their issues at the moment. 
Um, they have been under in three of their last four games, while Dallas has been under in three of their last five games. It could be an indication that this game goes under the line. Um, let's take a look at the power ranks indicator. You can see Green Bay on, on a sharp downward trend at plus eight, while Dallas is at plus 26. And if we look at the uh, movement in the line, let's take a look at the money line. And that is the wrong game. I don't know why it went to that. So excuse me as we go back up to the correct game, which is, yeah, I don't know what happened with that. Okay, so let's, anyway, let's, just, let's go back down to the Dallas game. I don't know what, what happened there. So let's go back down to Dallas. A little bit of a technology glitch there, but we will get right back at it. And here we go. Okay, let's take a look at the volatility oscillator. You can see here the stability factor. Green Bay has not been very consistent. They are minus one, while Dallas is at plus two in the stability factor. Now we want to take a look at the movement in the line. So you can see here, look at this money line here. It opened at 1.68 for Dallas, and there's been a quite a bit of movement, even stronger in favor of Dallas at 1.481. Yeah, I, it's hard to bet against Green Bay at home, but this year you have to, and they're not playing well. It's a different Packers team, so I'd say Dallas on the road to win and cover. The Chargers and the 49ers. Here's going to be another great matchup. NFC West versus AFC West. You see the 49ers are given a 71% chance of winning this game. And both teams are in the average status. Well, average for uh, San Francisco, average up for the Chargers. The 49ers have won three out of their last six, but are just one and two over their last three, while the Chargers are four and two over their last six. Heavy favorite is San Francisco at 1.31 to 3.36. Translates to almost a touchdown favorite at minus 6.5 with the over under set at 45.5. Okay, so if we take a look at the power ranks indicator for this one, you can see that both teams on the downward trend, 15 for the Chargers. 49ers were at plus 23 and they have dropped over the last couple weeks. They are down to uh, plus 12, but take notice that the last time this was updated was October the 30th. So I'm not sure why there's been so long between the updates for this power rank, but you can see there's been like a two week uh, spot where it hasn't been updated at all. I'm not sure why. Um, take a look at the volatility oscillator. We can see that the Chargers are at plus three. The 49ers have been kind of like just that moderate, sometimes consistent, sometimes not. They are at zero. Let's take a look at the money line. And it looks like there's been some changes in the money line. It opened at 1.5. There's been some movement. It went to 1.3, and then it's been stable at 1.3 onward. So in the end, I do like the 49ers in this one, and I think they will take care of business in this game, and they will win by double digits in a game going over the line. Okay, so there you have it. Those are all the games you want to take a look at for this week. Happy betting, and we'll see you next time.